Hello, I'm Carl Spentnell, and I'm back with my grandma's, grandma's noisy chair. So I, I only have a couple of more hours of daylight, so I wanted to shoot a video before daylight. And uh, I wanted, I have some things I believed as a kid. I'm still a kid, I know, shh, just shh. Um, but I, I pretty quickly realized, okay, this world, how this world works. But um, I have, I just have ideas here, and you can't see great. I have these things here that says kind of like what I believe, and I don't know how many I'll go through. All right, well, we're already on in the minute mark, and I still haven't started talking, actually talking. So, the first thing I believed was the tooth fairy. I believed her for a long time that she existed because I loved the tooth. She went on my bed, but then one day I thought, all right, I want to see her. So I laid in my bed at night. I laid like this and like this, but like this. So you, she couldn't see that I, that I was awake. <coughs> and I just waited for like hours. It, it was probably just ten minutes. I was a kid, but still, I I I remember just waiting for hours. I saying to myself, "Don't sleep, don't sleep, don't sleep," and I just I didn't want to sleep. And finally, I heard my door opening. And my mom came in. And I was like, wait, mom, what are you doing? It's the middle of the night. And she came in. She had a coin. She took out. She took my teeth. She put the coin in. And I was, I was, I was heartbroken. I was really like, what? What, what? what? It's you? And I was so close to just crying. But I didn't do it. So I just, I just was still there. I just, and she went away and I was like my entire world has been crushed so what I did what what any reasonable kid would do I I found my iPad not well not my iPad my mom's iPad maybe I don't know I found my iPad maybe it was a computer I don't know I found something and I googled is the tooth fairy real and you know what Google said it wasn't real and I was like I have lived my entire life in a lie I was so heartbroken but uh, the next one is kind of dark I, I wasn't very bright can you say that but um, my grandpa died on my mom's side my mom's dad died and we went to see him and um, you know what I said did you kill him what and my grandma was like what and I said we did that to my cat a few weeks ago I was saying that they had give my cat a shot because it was sick or something and my grandpa was sick and I was like I I only learned I learned that I said that a couple of weeks ago and like <laughs> just imagine my grandma just being like what just a little kid maybe like four or five years old just stood up and said did you kill him we did that to my cat a few weeks ago just imagine her being like uh-huh uh-huh all right, just, just, all right. Uh, uh -huh. That, uh, I, I believe that if someone was sick, they would get a shot and then would, and then they would die. That was why I was so afraid of being like super sick. Every time I got sick, I was like, oh no, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to get sick. My mom, my mom told me that I was always like, I was always so afraid when I got sick, and she didn't understand why. So that was like, that was the reason. I believe that. When you got sick, you got killed. Yeah, that's that was not very nice. All right, we're only at the four minute mark. Oh yeah, this is just like any other child you'll ever meet. I believe that the you know factories and stuff they made clouds. I didn't know what they did. I, I thought that all those machines and stuff were made to make clouds. So I would just stand there and say, look, look, a cloud machine. <laughs> that was really stupid I believe that all the machines that made like clouds and stuff were just made to make clouds all those factories and it was just like all those factories were made to make clouds and then like ooh I think we can switch them all in there are two more things that I believed I believe that if you tried hard enough, you could become a robot. 
I, I don't know where this belief came from, but I just remember, and I actually got pretty good at it. I, be, I believe that it was just like, if you were good enough at being a robot, you would become a robot. And then you would be able to like, shoot lasers out of your eyes and stuff. So I, I actually got pretty good at it. I, I still can do it. I just have to walk a little. I was, I've, I've always done like this, just open my eyes, just, just let my arms, I don't know why, just simply. Like, just let my arms dangle like they weren't attached to my body and just have open eyes all the time. So I, I believe that if I did this enough, I would become a robot. Don't ask me why, but look, I actually got pretty good at it. Just, yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was really, really stupid. But I, I don't know, and I don't even know where this belief came from, like... My brother didn't tell me. Nobody told me about this. It was just my imagination that said, "All right, if I try hard enough, I'll, I'll become a robot." Uh, where, where the heck could this belief come from? That's like, how? All right, the last one. Oh yeah, everything in the TV, TV have TV, TV, uh, television, happen in real life. Not, not like them dying and stuff. I didn't believe that happened, but I believed aging. So like. If you watched a movie and the person was a kid or like a horse movie something, then that the, someone grew up basically. They grew up and become a, became a little older, even in like animation and stuff. Oh, I can... Even in animation and stuff, it was just, I, I believe that, that, that they waited until the person grew up and then they started shooting again. I was like... That must take so much time. How do they have the patience to, patience to wait like 10 years for the person to grow up? <laughs> that was really, really stupid. Imagine my little kid brain. Like, alright, they, they're aging. Then they much, much age in real life. I don't, I don't remember any specific movies, but like... Also, YouTube a lot. I watched a lot of like stories on YouTube and like I feel be I believe that they waited especially like when Frozen came out I know that was only like what three years ago but I still believe that it was only when I was like 10 I didn't believe that anymore how old was I when Frozen came out five eight yeah I know I believe this for way too long but I believe that they were real so like people on YouTube started making parodies and I was like how do they do that like when they did do you want to build a snowman I believe that they're like the same person I was like how did how did you know Frozen was gonna come out <laughs> I was real stupid but um, I think that was most of my beliefs I, I maybe I could have come up with more if I waited more but I just wanted to get a video out where I actually told the story because I told I was gonna storytelling so that was just a fun little thing, I don't know. But uh, thanks so much for watching, hope to see you later. Bye!